Animator is someone that takes a series of drawings that he has drawn and then records them to give the illusion of life. Uh, well, I got started um, by being inspired by the old Disney movies, um, Aladdin being probably my favorite movie. That was the moment that I realized I wanted to be an animator. I trained for it a little bit in high school until I applied to the college that was famously known for hiring Disney animators. Um, I got rejected from that college. I was determined after that to become a very good animator, the best I could be. I just did not know how. The Simpsons used to hold an annual intern hiring. They would hire three interns every year. I was currently at a training program in which I was studying figure drawing and basic animation principles. They encouraged me to submit my portfolio. At the time, I did not like The Simpsons, and I just had no interest, but I knew I needed a job. So I submitted my portfolio, and I was one of the three picked that year, and it was, it was a very exciting time. So in doing 2D animation, we have to think of the main poses first. So let's say Homer's drinking a cup of coffee. Boring! Well, he doesn't really drink coffee, he drinks beer. Woohoo! So, we have this pose of Homer, then we have this pose, then this pose, and then one back. That's basically all we have to do for that entire scene. So it's one, two, three, four poses. And then we have to then time it. So we have to basically tell Korea, because we send all of this work to Korea, we have to tell them, okay, we want 12 drawings in between this one and this one. For animation, there's 12 drawings for every one second of animation. So when you count one 1,000, that is 12 drawings. It's a lot of drawings. So we do one here, one here, and if it takes one second, one 1,000. Then we've done two of the drawings, they have to do 10. So they have to do this one, this one, this one, this one, and so on and so forth. Very tedious, um, but it has to be done. So let's take for example the episode in which Itchy and Scratchy are on top of a volcano. Imagine you have several pieces of paper with Itchy's drawings on it. So they, those would be on their own levels. Then you'd have a whole set of other drawings that have Scratchy's drawings. So we would animate them independently and when they are put onto cells, celluloids, which is transparent plastic sheets, you're able to see both of them at the same time. So you have the two characters on their own levels, doing their own things. Then you have the background, which is the drawings of the volcano and the lava. Then you have your bridge layer, which is called an overlay layer, which lays over the background. So in this scene, you have four different sets of layers of art. After leaving The Simpsons, I realized I, The Simpsons weren't going to last forever, and I wanted to get into video games. So now I'm working at Activision on the Transformers 3 video game, which is due out in a couple years from now. Um, Activision being pretty much like the Disney of video games. My style as an illustrator slash concept artist does tend to be on the darker side. It is something about creating a, a world in which you're not sure what is happening there. There is mystery, and whenever there is mystery, there is fear sometimes. So you can really 
bring that across in certain colors that you use or just the absence of light. Um, when I'm painting a room, I don't want to show everything that's in the room. I want to leave some mystery. So what do I have to do? I have to turn the lights out. Don't let your vision blind. I see myself attempting to work in film. Um, Video games is a great business to be in, but there's something about movies that um, are just very special and I would just love to be a part of that. Oh.